Hey guys, welcome to Daddy and Daughter Electronics. Sorry we haven't posted a video in a while. Anywho, today we are continuing our clock, and this time we're doing buttons. And we already pre-programmed it, so you don't have to watch us type and type and type and type and type. We're going to use active low. When the button is pushed, the voltage goes to ground, and then there's a resistor that makes it go to higher voltage, which is like 5 volts, that when you're not pushing the button or whatever, it's 5 volts. And what's the other choice? Active high. Okay, so the active high, when you push the button, it makes it 5 volts, usually. The microcontroller reads the stuff that's on the diagram. Um, and the resistor helps it so that it doesn't short out the system when the button is pushed. Catherine, what can you tell people about pull-up resistors and AVR microcontrollers? Are there any built-in pull-up resistors in an AVR microcontroller? Yes, there are pull-up resistors built into the AVR microcontroller. Okay, so now we have our buttons, which is the hour minus, hour plus, minute minus, minute plus. So they're on pins 0 through 3 and on port C. Is this a new port? Yes, it's a new port. Here's what we've done to our code. Our main method used to have this big while loop only had one line. It said just delay and everything else is done on this clock using timers and interrupts. So what we've added are four checks. In our while loop we check and we say did you press the minute minus button? If you did I'm gonna delay a certain short period of time 25 milliseconds and I'm doing this to debounce the switch. So switches can bounce. And what that means is mechanically, when you push them, the contacts can open and close. Normally, you don't notice this, but microcontrollers definitely can notice this and cause all kinds of funny things to happen. So what we do is we check and say, was it pushed? Delay, and is it still pushed? If it's still pushed, subtract 60 seconds or a minute from the time. Make sure the time's not negative. And that's how we handle this button. Now, if you look up here, you will see I've defined some macros. They simply check port C, pin 1 in this case, in order to see if the bit is clear, if it's low, because these are active low switches. Notice my wait time is 300 milliseconds and my bounce time is 25 milliseconds. So every 300 milliseconds, it's going to check my switches and you have to push them for at least 25 milliseconds. I have very similar checks for the other three buttons. Here I check to make sure I didn't go too far. And that's all we have. It's that simple just to add buttons to your clock. Now we're ready to program our chip. And to do that, you're going to need your chip, your programmer, and all that other stuff you need for programming. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I already got glasses, so you don't need to comment about it. I got <laughs> glasses a few months ago. This is your first video with glasses, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually my first video I've actually made with glasses. Make sure to consult our earlier videos if you do not know how to use make. And so it's just going to load and load and then it just say AVR dude done. It says a polite thing at the end. Thank you. So are we ready to see our clock in action? Yep, I think we're ready to see our clock in action. This is our clock. These are the four buttons. These are the minute buttons on the bottom and the top ones are the hour buttons. But there is one thing I have to warn you about with these buttons. The thing I have to warn you about though is that the buttons, if you put them in the wrong way, the two sides are connected so they wouldn't work. Would they be on all the time? Yep, which is a problem in my case, in our case, so. You ready to see our clock in action? As you can tell, this thing is at 12 o'clock. 
But if you push the button, it will change to the right time. So I'm going to put it to the time it is right now. And eventually we're going to mount this up. That's all for this video. In the future, we'll add a whole bunch of more fun gizmos, like skill lights and music and stuff. I hope you like our episode for today. Be sure to subscribe and like this video.